Bullying. What is bullying? Oftentimes, people assume that bullying is a so-called phase, when in reality, it's abuse. And no, I'm not trying to make you feel guilty for thinking that bullying is just a phase, as many people do. I'm just bringing awareness to what it actually means and how mentally damaging it can be for the person who is enduring it. The person being bullied. The recipient. Many people don't recognize that it is one of the worst forms of abuse a person can endure. And I hope in sharing my story with you today that it helps at least one person out there who is going through a similar situation and is feeling alone. I just want to say that even though it may not ever feel like it, it does get better and through it you will become a stronger and better person. As much as it hurts at the moment, you will actually learn so much from your ordeal. I was bullied extensively for over seven years. And it all started when I was nine or ten years of age. And I can't even begin to explain the amount of pain I was constantly in when kids the same age as I was would, would encourage me to commit suicide and tell me that the world would be a better place without me. They would tell me that even my family hated me, and as a foolish child, I believed them. My childhood was stolen from me. And instead of being this, a happy, normal child who was free-spirited and cheerful, I was this, a child who wished they weren't alive, a child who was broken and helpless. For the people who blamed me for the way I turned out and told me, oh, well, maybe you should have spoken up about it, I say shame on you for not educating yourself on the matter before throwing out such allegations because you just did not want to admit to the fact that bullying leads to depression, mental instability, or worse, death. You are virtually blaming them for being bullied. It's kind of like someone going to a cancer patient and saying, oh, you know, well, it's your fault for not spotting the tumor earlier. I was quite baffled, to be honest with you, with their reasoning, as it was absurd. Before I move forward with my talk, I have a message to all who are currently being bullied. If I can do it, so can you. And I truly mean that. I won't just stand here and tell you it's easy, because it's not. As if it was, I would not be in the situation that I am in today, trying to Trying to, fit, trying to reverse the years of pain and damage, trying to fix me. I understand that getting better is actually very hard, as when, you've been, as when for so many years you have been told that you're not good enough, even for life, it sticks with you and it messes with your head. Oftentimes you have no idea where to start or what to do, but it's something you'll have to figure out for yourself as there is no how-to step-by-step guide to recover from being mentally abused for years. Falling back into your old habits is a void that I personally get falling into, but it is part of the learning process. I would do anything to escape the demons within me, but I can't, because that's how my brain was wired. And instead of fighting it, I have fully accepted it and chose not to let it define me, as I encourage you all to do as well. Now back to what I was saying, According to a study carried out in Finland, it was found to be that 90% of the people who, were, who endured bullying starting from the age of 8 ended up suffering from a chronic mental illness such as depression, bipolar disorder, and suicidal thoughts. And those are only the people who actually seek medical guidance. However, since opening up can be very difficult for people, me included, many of us find ourselves alone fighting an endless battle that we so often lose. I truly believe that your mind is your worst enemy, and adding abuse to that isn't a good idea. One mental illness also leads to a bunch of others. For example, depression and anxiety are so closely linked, it's like a domino effect. From personal experience, I can confirm that bullying does cause severe mental health issues that are so hard to recover from. For example, I'm still so deeply affected by what happened to me from all those years of abuse in its worst forms. Everyone's solution seems to be to forgive and forget. However, that's easier said than done. And no, I don't agree with that so-called solution, as it's shenanigans in my opinion, because you can't just forget what people said or did to you. But what I will say is that you're so much stronger than that, and you can get through this by telling yourself that they are irrelevant, and that you will never see them ever again in your life. Keeping yourself distracted and busy also works. However, Surrounding yourself with amazing, positive people with amazing energy is truly the best solution. Many people suffer silently and tend to hide all of their emotions so that they don't end up getting hurt. I can't even begin to explain the amount of pain people go through later on in life due to bullying. According to the Center of Disease Control, or the, or the CDC, it is estimated that 4,400 people 
take their own lives. 14% of those people are high school students. Unfortunately, this number is only increasing as people are only being targeted now more than ever before. Kids are also being targeted by sick people through the internet, through the Momo and Blue Whale challenges. These are suicide games in which sick people manipulate kids into harming themselves and ultimately committing suicide. Things like online depression tests have also contributed to the rise in the number of mentally unstable children as it manipulates them into thinking they have a serious illness like depression, which is a chemical imbalance in the brain, when in reality they might just be a bit down or sad. Many people turn to drugs or alcohol to numb the pain or to hurt themselves, as they think they are too far gone to change. However, you can't say you can't when you haven't even tried. I remember talking to one of my close friends about how schools could contribute more to both more to helping both the bullies and the people suffering. Schools should implement more anti-bullying programs. And no, I don't mean the typical signs with bullying is wrong. I mean the more direct approach. Bullying often stems from insecurities within the bully themselves or the fact that they lack power. How about if you begin to teach children how to express their emotions in healthier ways and that having power over another student won't make them feel better about themselves in the long run. Perhaps we should also teach people who are bullied to cope properly. If we could teach children how to deal properly with the bullies, then the long-term mental effects would be significantly suppressed. And most importantly, I believe that we should teach victims to break the silence. We should teach victims, especially children, that according to a slogan used in protests in the UK about lack of government response and support to AIDS, silence equals death. We must teach victims of all kinds to be vocal about their experiences. And we should also ensure a society that will hear their voices loud and clear. The effects of bullying are not short term. Believe it or not, the mental health effects of bullying extend to, to adulthood and it has negative effects on the person's contribution to society in the future, and even their ability to work in a team as they will simply be too afraid to. By combating bullying, we can save someone's whole future, and their future may even have an impact on us. Some people say bullying builds character. Well, although bullying did contribute to my character, it did not build it. Those are the words of someone who has who who seen a cartoon about the victim suddenly finding the courage to stand up for themselves. We all know that life is not all gumdrops and gummy bears. Besides, <clears throat> there are other ways to build character other than inflicting deep emotional scars on someone for the, no for the notion that it will build their character. Overall, bullying is not just a childhood problem. It is a problem of the past, present, and unless we stop it, a future. Imagine a world where children didn't fear going to school every day, dreading to, to face their peers. Imagine a world where children learn how to express their emotions in healthy way, ways and not take their anger, out, anger and frustration out on other students. Imagine a world where bullying and its long-term effects were non-existent. That's the future I hope to see, and that's the future I'm fighting for, a future for children of the world to not have to suffer in silence as I and many others did. That's the future I would one day want to live to see. My message to all of you here today is to just be cautious of what you say to people, as you really don't know what people are going through. So instead of contributing to their pain, be part of their solution. Be part of their happiness. Be the reason they smile. And for all you bullies out there, I say life is too short to be spreading hatred. We are not affected by you. You are affected by you.